Hello, this is Maya. I'm broadcasting out the UK. Thank you for coming on to my little corner in the internet. And today I'm going to be reviewing a new shaving cream. I have only a sample and it's from the Executive Shaving. And it's called Citrus Kiss. I did try to write it on here, but you can't really see because this tub was extremely sticky. So, a UK company, as I said, and let's just have a quick sniff. Oh, not, not as citrusy as I expected. Lovely little combo in there. Let me see, I have written, taken note what's in there. Um, we have in there lime, lemon, orange and bergamot. So I think it's the more the bergamot and maybe a little hint of lemon and orange but I don't really get the lime which is nice because I'm not such a lime fan. But anyway, so lime, lemon, orange and bergamot. So, and I have in my little glass here, I have soaking my bore brush. It's the Kent. I think it's a V70 and it's the large. And it has no writing on it anymore because actually Flash Boredom gave me that idea. He said, rub it, take all the writing off and the lacquer that I had put on and I've soaked it instead after that I sandpapered it a little bit and I soaked it in linseed oil so as in the handle of course not the brush itself and I will be using my suribachi bowl and I am going to use today my single edge blackland vector it's piece of art this one I love this um, right and as post shave I will be using orange blossom water because of the orange within the soap and then and the aloe gentleman's pride alcohol free aftershave so let's get going so let me just take next to me in the basin I have this time warm water, not hot, lukewarm. So let's take some of this lovely little soap out of here. My trusty little butter knife. And it's a soft soap. It's a cream, I would almost say. Let's put that in the bottom. this to the side let me put the knife away not that it falls down I've cleaned it obviously just quickly and I'm going to draw up one teaspoon of water as you know I always do the same but repetition makes master right so I have in here now my little bit of soap. Um, one thing I want to say about the sorbachi bowl is because of its extreme ceramic ridges, I don't press the soap down a lot because it tends to get way in there and it's very hard to get out, even with the brush. So um, I have to then go take a toothbrush and get the rest out. So that's why I'm not going to push it down like I do in the shave bowl and the other bowls, scuttles. <coughs> so there. So now let's get, I've had this soaking maybe five minutes. So I'm going to squeeze that out. Okay, squeezed it out. And now I'm just going to start loading this. Okay, change the camera angle. Here we go. 
Let's start loading. Oh, yes, now the scent and the aromas are coming. As soon as the water hits and you start working it, the aromas are coming out very nicely indeed. Yes, I can smell now the lime, the orange, the lemon. And the bergamot has gone a bit to the back, but it's still there. Right, so that's loaded. I'm now going to add half a teaspoon. They're just two and a half mils. Mm, I'm not sure I've got enough soap in there actually, because it's all going into the brush. Okay, I've not got enough soap in there. I need to add some more. Because the brush, ball brushes and badger brushes, they do eat a little bit of soap. So I'm putting the same amount again in there. some left on my fingers I'm just going to put that on my face there we go it's lovely job Lou clean off the knife dry off the knife put it back clean as you go right there we go let's carry on Okay, let's put the second half in. Okay, here we go. Now we're going. Now we're on track here. Sometimes I think of the ball brushes like a teapot where you put one spoon in for the for the pot and one per cup. Same applies to this, obviously. It looks like badger, and especially the boar. The boar more than the badgers, depending on what kind of badger you have. And once you've got the right amount, look how lovely this is. Can you see that? I'm enjoying this scent. It must be the combination with the bergamot. This is a lovely scent. Not over the top. It's subtle and it's quite Mediterranean. It's such grey weather. It's nice to have something that reminds you a little bit of holiday and sunshine. Here we go, it's not got a sheen yet. I'm adding another half teaspoon. I don't want to go too much. I've made quite a thin lather. But 
but it does have peaks and it is starting to shine. And this will suffice me, this lather. Okay, let's have a feel. Slickness is there. It's forming peaks. And the protective layer is there. That means it's ready. I could have left it just at one teaspoon to make a really thick creamy lather. Here we go. Let's adjust the camera. Sorry. This is not holding again. Okay, let's see. I hope that didn't make you completely sick watching that messing about. Okay, let's wet the face. Take my glasses off. Let's get going. Okay, this is quite a thin lather. Not as creamy as the other ones. I'm thinking most probably I shouldn't have put that much water in. Okay, let's just add a little more soap. Okay, let me see. I'm going to put it straight into the brush, onto the tips of the brush this time. Let's give it another swirl. Let's make it a bit more creamy. Okay, that's better. Okay, so not so much water on this one. I just want to remind you also even if you're using the same soap base, depending on what oils and scents have been used, it can, can make a big difference how it lathers. Um, each com combo is different, so you've got to be aware of that. So here we go. Oh, I didn't tell you, I have a Kai Pink in here. Kai Pink Blade. An extremely efficient blade. Mild and protective. It has scallops. On the edge, a scalloped edge, and that's really protective and it glides well. So, first round pass done. This is feeling really good. The scent is not very strong. I think the others were stronger from the same company. This is dissipating a little bit. But that is nice too. It's still there. It feels fabulous on the skin. I think my brush is eating up this soap a bit. 
Yep. So I'm going to leave it at two passes today because I'm not going to use up all the sambal because I want to use it at least once more. So that's not a fail of the soap, it's my fail. I should have chosen a different brush for this. and added less water. But it is working well and it's smelling fantastic. And even though it looks like I have hardly any to no soap on there, it is definitely slick. As you see, I have no problems even with that, what I would normally consider a small amount of soap on my face. I love this because it's so thin and you can get well around it's quick coverage extremely efficient without being an aggressive razor right let's just do a quick pick up with what i've got left in here It just glides with virtually no soap. So residual slickness, first glass. Right, let's wash my face. Let's get a bit of warm water. And yet skin feels hydrated also no problem there scent I like the subtleness it's almost like you know when you're standing on one side of the road and across the road is an orange grove and the summer wind this warm summer wind blows through the orange grove and you hear all the little all, all the leaves rustling a little bit and the orange blossoms and oranges both are on the tree at the same time just in case you don't know and that wind just carries along that faint faint scent of citrus this is what this is like it's uh, it's fabulous i'm liking it and then you get when the, when the hot air hits the ground of this rich earth that these <clears throat> trees are sat in, you get that really earthy, warm, um, f scent that only really rich earth can give you. That's what the bergamot does. That's what this, the scent is like, you know, just a hint, just enough that, you know, Yes, I am. I am on holiday. Now I'm just taking some of my orange water, putting that on, just to pick up that orange scent. 
the citrusy scent and to close my pores and this is also moisturizing and I've dribbled it all across my front never mind there's no alcohol in here and it's not stinging no weepers this is a clean close shave without let me just dry without any problems whatsoever really enjoyable ah oh, that's lovely I really enjoyed that and now I'm just going to put a little bit of gentleman's pride on I don't need much because this cream is actually this shaving cream actually is super moisturizing I just want to have the scent put some up here as well there you go oh, this is so this was a real pleasure I hope it came across so let me just quickly review because I don't think I did it justice whilst shaving this citrus kiss from executive shaving is a really good soap if you're using a natural hair brush make sure you've got plenty of cream in there especially if it's a good quality brush because it will eat it up use less water um, and or maybe add it in at a slower pace so but the scent is subtle but it develops and it's lovely and you've uh, you just heard me blackland vector a piece of art nice and heavy slim head extremely efficient this is a single edge blade a kai pink i've got in here I love this this is very classy nice weight sort of mid-length handle not too short not too long I love this razor um, it is on the upper mark on price but I think it is well worth worth it if you want to go for an uh, for a an expensive one then consider this um, I've had a few others that I've also tried but this one came out best because of its slickness it's flat and it has the width I like this a lot so hope you enjoyed that and thank you for watching Give me a like if you enjoyed this, leave a comment if you have something to say and if you want to see more videos of many a sort, I don't just do shaving videos, then click the subscribe button and see you soon. Bye bye.